Hello, what up guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to a new episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, episode number 31. Now today's episode is once again powered by my sponsor Elgato. Today we are rocking the green screen which removes the background and immerses me into the, into the content. We've got the key lights to brighten both my face up and to perfectly light the green screen so that it gets removed impeccably. And of course I'm using the Wave 3 mic which means the audio should be absolutely brilliant. So if you are an aspiring content creator, check down below in the description to a link to my Elgato profile page. Thank you in advance to those of you that do that. And let's get on into the episode, shall we? So uh, I left you uh, in the end of last episode with a gap in the squad because we sold Raheem the Dream, but we also sold Rashford. And that's a big sale. Uh, as you can see, just proof there. He goes for 195. Uh, it's a big sale. Oh, I haven't asked you yet, have I? But keep showing your support. Keep showing the love and support on these videos. Hit me with a thumbs up. 7,000 likes is your target. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel as well if you're new. Where we're going to start this episode off is by me completing another player SBC. In Yaki Williams Rule Breaker. This is going to be my first Rule Breaker on FIFA 21. So I didn't have a whole bunch of stuff in the club. So I went out and bought both teams, all right, which is about 110k. And then I realized actually I bought myself an Inform Ebra and I didn't need to do that. I could use an Inform that I've got in my club already, which was Gulashi, who was untradeable. And I could actually downgrade the squad a little bit as well because I didn't. Ebra was an 85, but Galaxy was an 86. So uh, I could sell that Ebra on for like 18K, whatever I bought him for. And then the 110K that we started with, it means that it cost me about 90K. All right. So I was happy with that because I've heard really good things. Now, there are a couple of pros and a couple of cons, I guess, for this player. But we're going to complete him anyway, because I think it's going to be, I think the pros are going to outweigh the cons, all right? So it's a player pick, this rule breaker. So it's not going to walk out, but we are going to get the choice of two different versions of this card. And obviously, I'm going to go with the one on the left, which has the much improved dribbling, which I think is so important to get his agility and his balance up. And of course, just the way he moves on the ball, um, because I can stick a hunter on this card and the shooting's going to be like fantastic anyway but what you can never really do to a player is make them feel more agile so that the opportunity if you ever get it to get a player with much more agility and much better dribbling i think that's always such an important stat to to take into account so um i could just put him into the team in this spot right here and then again figure out what we're doing with the prem side of things uh but i decided to spend all my money <laughs> on a 86 rated Varan. Uh, yeah, so it was like the ideal center back that I was definitely going to want for the next weekend league. And I had an opportunity to buy him because we had the money. And he dropped a bit in price because the weekend league was coming to a close. Um, he'll probably drop further, and that's absolutely fine because I don't really intend to sell him for quite a long time. Uh, and if that's the case, then by the time I sell him, he's probably going to be 100k or something anyway. So I'm going to lose loads of money on him no matter what. So let's just buy him now and make use of him because he's probably one of the best centre-backs on the game. So we've really improved our defence. I also sell Frankie because I had an idea, all right? And I don't know if you're going to love this idea or hate this idea, but it's based on a couple of my friends that have been using this player in this particular way and um, saying good things about him. And that's also a little bit of experience from myself as well. Uh, Frankie sells for 60,000 coins, so we don't take too much of a loss on him. Uh, but what it does mean is that we can go straight out and buy a Trent. And, and you're like, hey, what? Tom, what are you doing? You've already got Wambasaka, and you don't need a new right back. And the answer to that is, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But what we can do with Trent is we can put him as a right wing back at right winger. And we're not going to play him as a, uh, as a winger. Uh, what we're going to do is play him as a defensive midfielder, which, if you remember when we had Trent, I moved him to that position a couple of times, and I really liked it. And a couple of my friends literally play him in defensive midfield in their squads, and say that he's fantastic there. So I think what we've just done is achieve a bit of a dub here. Look at the squad. Look how it's looking. 
Um, I just think this this is the coolest team we've had so far uh, with the most ridiculous defense we've had so far because we've now got... Yeah, Wambasaka could be upgraded to uh, to somebody different, somebody slightly better, like Kyle Walker would be uh, a huge improvement. Um, but Joe Gomez, Rafa Varane, and Furlong Mendy, those three, especially in my defense, I think it's about as meta as it gets for the price you pay. And don't forget, well, I mean, don't worry, I didn't forget to do the uh, Inyaki Williams packs, but uh, they're, they're nothing really like that special. Uh, once again, you do a player SBC, it costs you about 100k or sometimes even more than that. And the packs you get back are pretty garbage, pretty trash. EA, sort that out. I want to see better reward packs for people that are spending their hard-earned coins on player SBCs. It doesn't make sense. So no walkouts from the packs, but we do get a board in this one, which is uh, better than what we've had over the last couple of days. Anyway, we get a Danish goalkeeper from Leicester, which of course is going to be Kasper Schmeichel. I nearly said Peter Schmeichel, and I think I nearly say Peter Schmeichel every single time I pack this guy. Um, but yeah, of course it isn't. It is, uh, it's his son, Kasper. Uh, so I think I list him up because I am a little short of coins right now. Um, because I've got a couple players I need to buy. So the first one is this, Memphis Depay, 9.8K. Uh, I'm going to buy him, even though he's in form, I think he's still dropped a little bit in price. I imagine he'll drop more and we'll lose 5K of that in the next couple of weeks. But I wanted a super sub. And again, some people have been saying good things about Depay. I realize how cheap he is for what he is. You know, if he was in the Prem, he'd be like 80K. So he is uh, ridiculously cheap for the for the quality that you'll get with him. Um, and I was just waiting for a couple more things to sell so I could actually buy a goalkeeper. Uh, so we sold Ibra and then I discarded a couple of things from the club and it allowed me to go out and buy Thibaut Courtois back. This time we've gone ahead and bought the blue version. Don't know why it was the same price. Maybe it was a thousand coins more expensive. Um, but it makes the team look a little bit cooler. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the new squad. So what it does do is it brings Hazard back into the fold. My attacking four players are Eden Hazard, Usman Dembele, Ansu Fati, and Inyaki Williams. All right, And this is how I'm going to line them up for the last stage of our foot champs run. We are actually going to go with Usman Dembele and Hazard as the cams. And we're going to try two four-star skill strikers out in Ansu Fati and Inyaki Williams. I want to see how much I rely on five-star skillers, because if I can do the work with just doing different types of fake shots with four-star skillers, it opens up my team for the future to not just be five-star and, you know, hurdle, you know, bottlenecking myself down that particular road. So, yeah, we line the squad up. We go on into a champs game. And don't forget, right now we are at 14 and 8. So, I can only lose two games, and then I have to win the rest of them if I wanted to get goal one. Which was always going to be a long shot, um, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. Like, to me, the fact that the weekend league got extended actually didn't even play a part in, in what I did this weekend. Because these games are from Sunday afternoon. Right? I got all of this stuff done on on the normal weekend league like days. It didn't actually end up saving any games for Monday, which is weird um, because that's not, not normally like me. But I think changing the team around a little bit and actually yeah, making those changes and uh, trying to split the games up like during the day that I was playing it, like play four games at a time, have a bit of a break come back to it again it actually made the weekend league go a little bit quicker um so yeah like we end up i think we rage quit that first game well we get a loss anyway so uh let's say we're 14 and 9 right now i then score with Ansu fatty which is good because he uh he was obviously fairly quiet in terms of goals when he's playing at cam uh but i did hope and expect for more from him as a striker and obviously he does uh bring that for the team 
So we get our uh, a nice goal there with Inyaki. Was that the first goal we've scored with him? I can't remember if he scored in the last game or not. I think it was a 3-0 drumming, to be honest. But uh, we do get a goal with him, so that was nice. Lots of pace and a really good finish from him. And then just like poor defending from Varane, considering he's my most expensive player in my team. I would hope that he would be a little bit better than that. But hey, it's probably my mistake, not his. Uh, but my opponent does bring a 2-0 deficit back to 2 all which is frustrating. Uh, and then Hazard whips one into the box and Inyaki rises like a salmon to score the header. And I'm like, if he can do that for me as well as finish with his feet, I think I'm going to be a happy customer. Um, and then we knock it inside there. Usman Dembele ends up scoring. It was uh, it was actually nice from, from Fatty to keep that ball there. So we're 4-2 up. He then goes to throw the kitchen sink at it, uh, and I score a wonder goal with uh, Eden Hazard there. That's why I love playing him on that left side, by the way. The cutting inside, opening up his body, and then whipping that shot around. He does that better than a lot of players. His right foot in that situation really feels like, like Bale on the opposite side. You know how Bale's got that crazy left foot? This year, Eden Hazard's um, finesse shots really feel like that. So, yeah, I m maybe I was... Uh, disrespecting him by putting him on the bench for a little while i don't know uh anyway anyone any of you use eden hazard i, I want to know your thoughts on him as well you can put them down below in the comment section so the next game after a nice 3-0 victory uh we come up against someone with a solid team uh but inyaki goes ahead and scores after two minutes so our first attack of the game we get a goal from it and then i pick the ball up there with ansu fatty and i'm like all right cool i'm just gonna run through and score then mate uh, so I make it 2-0 after 4 minutes, and I'm like, yes, this game right here is going to be a huge dub, um, considering the, li the lineup that he had. But um, I don't know, I, so I sort of got overconfident, I think, and uh, 6 minutes after I'd scored my second, he scored his first, and then 4 minutes after that, he's ending up running through here, and I think he's going to get another goal. Rashford just knocks it in, and why now at the near post on his weak foot? That's a strange goal to me, I don't know how that's going in. Courtois, mate. you got to do a bit better than that. So uh, at this point, I realized actually this one was not going to be just a walk in the park. Um, but this game is going to turn out to be an unfortunate one for a couple of reasons. One, I go from 2-0 up to 3-2 down. However, I get an equalizer here. But at the same time, on Sunday afternoon, my best friend texted me to say that he'd got a couple of new puppies. And he was five minutes away from my house and he wanted to, me to be introduced to these new dogs and I was like hell yeah I want to see them but unfortunately what that meant is that there's no way to pause the game for long enough and I had to go out for a few minutes so unfortunately rather than just quitting here at, at 3-3 and my opponent not getting the win I knew that he would eventually score the goal and I would get kicked for inactivity it is what it is sometimes like real life just comes first for a few minutes and uh yeah, like that. It, could that have been the difference between gold two and gold one? Possibly, but who really cares, right? So, uh, you know, we're, we're happy to get gold three every week. Um, and we've pushed forward from that this week and last week as well. So it's not going to happen every week because there, there, there will be def weekends where I just don't enjoy it. And I want to stop at 14 or I've got other plans and I want to stop at 14. And that's really the aim every week. But if there are some weeks where I can go a little bit further past it um, and see what we can get, then yeah, be assured that I will if I fancy it. All right. Um, however, this is the everyday man RTG. I I like the, the fact that we can, you know, I like having that cutoff point at 14 wins a lot of the time because this is what you can achieve by not playing the game to absolute death and grinding it day in, day out, and constantly, this is what you can achieve if you play it like an average to moderate amount during the year. That's what my niche is for this series. So that's why I like to stop there. And of course, it's good for the stress levels to stop as early as possible. But anyway, we find ourselves 3-1 down in this game after I think I was maybe 1-0 up. But a good goal there from Inyaki Williams, showcasing his good finesse shot. Uh, and then Usman Dembele just outpacing uh, and outclassing my opponent to get uh, a goal back there. Uh, I knew when I was 3-1 down in this game that I could win this. Oh, by the way, I brought Memphis on and I made a rash challenge with him. About three FIFA seconds of him being on the pitch and he got a straight red card. 
<laughs> I didn't really think he was going to get a red, um, but it doesn't matter in the end because I knew I was going to win this match. I think I was just better, uh, or I felt like I was going to win, so we just had the motivation to carry on and actually do it. But even with 10 men, we turned the game around from 3-1 down to get a 4-3 victory, and that puts us at 16 and something. I can't even remember <laughs> where we're at right now, but this is a nice team, isn't it? Very, very, very meta Red Rashford, could not be more jealous of your Red Rashford, bro. Uh, that is for sure, because he is such a good player on this game. Uh, Antu Fati knocks it back to Inyaki Williams. Good finish from the Spaniard. I've been so impressed with him lately. Or, or like, uh, should I say, from the first few games, he has shown class. He's shown that he is a, a top-notch striker on this game at this point in time. Will we still be using him a month down the line? I don't know. We'll certainly have a good first owner striker in La Liga should we need that for like objectives in the future. I mean, but look what he's doing. That was a situation where you get through after that skill move and you'd normally hit it on the left foot of your player. But he still was able to shift his body to get it onto his strong foot because we all know that a two-star weak foot is not great. But it hasn't been a problem whatsoever so far. So for those of you that are... Hazard scoring another one of them goals, by the way. For those of you that are a little bit conscious or nervous about unlocking him because of his weak foot, just know that so far I have really not noticed it to be an issue. Look, again, you would probably try and shoot with your left foot there, but he still shifted his body to whip it around. Like, it's just not an issue. He just doesn't try and hit shots on his left foot. Maybe it makes you a little bit easier to read, and that could be a problem for you on your attacks. But typically, he's so fast and he's so strong that he can outdo the defenders anyway, all right? So there's your 17 wins, ladies and gentlemen. We got up to goal two again. Now, goal two typically isn't really, like, I think I prefer the gold three rewards just because I prefer rare player pack um, to uh, rare mega pack, whatever it is you get in goal two. But uh, you know what? Hey, so be it. We're going to get four options of red picks as opposed to three options, and, and we can take... The same amount as gold three, but hey, we get more coins as well. We get 45,000 coins, I guess. Uh, but we had three games left, and I couldn't lose any of them. I needed to win the three games in order to get gold one, which would be two 100k packs. And that would be spicy. That would be really, really nice. Uh, but I was 2-0 down after 28 minutes. This guy had a really similar attack to me. He had like Inyaki, Hazard, Ansu Fati. I don't know what he was doing, whether or not he watches the series or something, but uh, he, had, he had very similar attack to me. And it was Hazard that was scoring the goals for both opponents. Um, I did get one back. So it's 2-1 at half time. Still not quite sure whether or not we're going to be able to do anything in this game. But we're giving it our all because if we win this, gold one is still on. Uh, but the second half just... Yeah, I don't know. I would assume that he was a better player than me. I I had to go constant pressure, ultra attack. And unfortunately, that left me so open at the back that I was then making mistakes to try and get people back into position. And I ended up losing 4-1. So, GG's to that guy. But that is the dream over. That is the gold one dream for this week over anyway. Uh, and we stopped there at 17 wins. No point playing the final two games because, well, let's face it. I can't get any higher. So rather than taking two more games and getting, what, 800 rank points in total, I might as well risk those two games in rivals to try and get more than 800 rank points to help me get into a better rank for rivals. I'm pretty sure, though, that we're probably stuck in rank three uh, in rivals this week, which is not the end of the world. It's very similar to rank two in division two. Um, but yeah, we'll see. I, 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 it doesn't matter. Uh, we're going to get a bunch of packs on Thursday to open and a couple of red picks again. So I'm a happy boy. Now, Inyaki's got nine goals, two assists in six games of champs. That's positive, in my opinion. I haven't loved uh, Trent at CDM, actually, if I'm honest. Not so far, anyway. But what I have been doing is bringing on uh, Alaba as a CDM, and he's great. So uh, I think we're still okay for now. This team was enjoyable. I think maybe Usman Dembele does need to be put back up front, probably with Inyaki Williams, which just reduces Ansu Fati back to Cam again. And that's okay. But um, yeah, we could, we could definitely do that and, and see how that goes. If not, we could maybe even try changing our formation to something like a 4-1-2-1-2. 
uh, and then maybe pull Eden Hazard out and bring in like another centre midfielder and we could try doing that and then Cam would be Ansu Fati so he'd have like a good triangle of strikers up to it, we might do that I might not we'll see what happens over the next few days but guys that's the end of the episode super long one today it's nearly 20 minutes uh, if you could do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button my voice is feeling a little bit dead right now so I need your support for a new episode tomorrow 7,000 likes please Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I thank you for that. And come and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. The links are down below, everyone. Take it easy, stay safe, stay healthy. And I will catch you tomorrow with another episode. Peace.